All right, here is a Unity Day 2020 poster contest instructions. Uh, this is the task. You got to create a poster in Canva.com. You're going to save your file as your name, Unity Day poster, and what class period you're in. Make sure you go to canva.com. It's called Canva, not Canvas. Words or phrases to include in your poster are listed right here. Some must haves, hashtag Unity Day 2020, and we want to represent Southwestern Middle, so make sure you include it somewhere in your poster. Also, you want to have people check your spelling and grammar. We can do that by collaborating in the team's chat. So post a picture of your work, share it, get some feedback, and give some feedback. Turn all your picture files, either JPEGs or PNGs, into Teams Assignments tab. If you have time, post it in the chat and collaborate with your uh, teammates. And also, we're going to show you how to post your link on uh, Padlet.com. So we've got some examples of our Unity Day posters. One from back a couple years ago. We've got a new SMS one. And here's another sample one right here. So we're going to pop on over to Padlet.com. Once you get to Padlet, you find your class period. You click the little plus sign. And then you're going to upload a picture of your uh, poster right here. So I'm going to go to Canva.com. You're going to create your poster. And then you're going to download it. So you can click on this download button in the upper right hand corner or these three little, little dots. And then click download. They both do the same thing. So we're going to click download. If you would like to share with your friends or your family or parent or guardian, you can click on share link and you can like email them a link. You can text them a link to your work. Or you can download it and share it as a picture. So I'm going to click download. And we should be using Google Chrome. So Google Chrome. It's going to download to the bottom left hand corner and to your computer. So it defaults to PDF. That's a, like a document um, file. We want a picture file. So we want PNG. And I'm going to click download. Do I have to do a piece? So right now we're recording. So if you have any questions, make sure you type it in the chat. So bottom left hand corner, you're going to click on your design once it's done downloading. And it's going to open in a photo viewer. Well, it should. You might have to be a little patient with it. Click. I think it's thinking about it. There, it goes. Sure. there we go. So I have downloaded it to my computer. Now I need to save it to my OneDrive. So I'm going to go right click, save as. And I'm going to save it to my OneDrive because right now it's only saved to my computer and in my Canva account. So you go to your OneDrive and then you go to your STEM folder, whatever class period you're in. And then you're going to put your name, uh, poster, and what class period you're in. So, you, All right, so you're going to save it. Save and copy. There it goes. All right, so it should be in my OneDrive now. So I'm going to go hop back over to the Padlet page. Type your name. And then what class period you're in. And then Unity Day Poster 2020. Uh, there you go. Make sure you click in it first. All right, so now I'm going to click Upload. I'm going to pick my file, the one I just downloaded and saved to my OneDrive. So click on OneDrive, click on your STEM folder, click on your poster, open. Give it a second to upload. It might take a little while depending on your internet connection. But once it's there, you should be good. Check your spelling. Make sure your everything is correct. And then just click off to the side. And that should have saved automatically. All right. 
Uh, once you're done with that, make sure you turn it in through the Teams Assignments tab, and you should be in good shape. There you go. Have fun.